Hey there, fellow riders. We're embarking on an epic journey through the world of adventure bikes. We'll be diving into the gritty details of the Honda Africa Twin, KTM Adventure 890, Yamaha Tenere, and Ducati Desert X, uncovering what makes these beasts tick and how they perform when the going gets tough. Let's kick things off by taking a closer look at the specs of each bike and how they stack up against one another. We are going to understand the performances of these bikes from a different point of view. From the tires view, yes, because these bikes choose all the same sizes, 90-90-21 front and 150-70 R18 rear with the front bliss and the rear radial. A wired decision and at the end of the video, I will give you my feedback about this compromise. First up, the Honda Africa Twin. This bike is a legend in the adventure riding community, known for its bulletproof reliability and go-anywhere attitude. Its parallel twin engine delivers smooth, predictable power, while its long travel suspension and adjustable seat height make it a versatile choice for riders of all sizes. Uh, when it comes to rubber, the Africa Twin Sports mount a couple of Michelin Anarchy Adventure 90-90-21 front and 150-70 R18 rear tire setup. With Honda's choice of an 80-20 on-road to off-road tire for their bike, it's clear they intended to create a versatile option, but in my opinion, it's a compromise that doesn't satisfy anyone. As someone who isn't a fan of the Michelin brand, I found the front on-road tire to be particularly disappointing, leading to a noticeable understeer sensation, especially when taking corners at speed. Off-road, even on gravel, the lack of confidence in the tire's grip leaves much to be desired, making for a less than ideal riding experience. Next in line is the KTM Adventure 890R Rally. This bike is a beast, plain and simple. Its 889cc parallel twin engine is a powerhouse, delivering raw, unadulterated torque that will have you grinning from ear to ear. Combine that with its lightweight chassis and nimble handling, and you've got a recipe for off-road domination. The Rally version has 270 millimeters of travel on suspension, and this is a super plus. Like the Africa Twin, the Adventure 890 rocks the same 90-90-21 front and 150-70R18 rear tire set up, but they choose Meters Enduro Trail. KTM's decision to opt for Meters tires on their rally bike reflects a clear off-road orientation. However, while these tires are not bad in off-road conditions, their performance on tarmac leaves much to be desired. When riding more aggressively on pavement, the tire's limitations become apparent, requiring constant attention and adjustment. Despite being radial tires, they lack the confidence-inspiring stability needed for high-speed riding, which can detract from the otherwise excellent performance of the white power suspension. Now, let's talk about the Yamaha Tenere. This bike is a true off-road warrior, built to conquer the toughest trails with ease. Its 847cc parallel twin engine delivers a healthy dose of power, while its agile handling makes it a joy to ride in any environment. The Tenere rocks the same tire sizes as its competitors, but use a set of Pirelli Scorpion Rally STR. Yamaha's choice of Pirelli tires for their adventure bikes appears to strike a good balance. Pirelli tires are known for their reliability across various conditions, offering solid performance both on and off-road. While they may have some limitations on asphalt, they generally perform well in these conditions. However, given the specialized nature of Yamaha's adventure bikes, some riders might have expected a more specialized tire option to further enhance their off-road capabilities. The Tenere's agility can sometimes lead to overconfidence, especially when the going gets tough. Riders need to be mindful of this and adjust their riding style accordingly. Last but not least, we have the Ducati Desert X. This bike is a beast in its own right, with a soul of a champion. Its powerful engine and balanced chassis make it a force to be reckoned with, whether you're tearing up the dunes or carving through twisty trails. 
the Desert X Mount Pirelli Scorpion Rally STR in 1990-21 front and 150-70R18 rear tier set to, but here's where it gets interesting. On the Ducati, the Pirelli honestly works better. I think it's something about the balance of the bike. With the Ducati, you have the feeling of more confidence in your riding also on the gravel roads. So what's the verdict? Each of these bikes has its own unique personality and strengths, but when it comes to tires, it's all about finding the right balance between grip and control. The Honda Africa Twin is like that reliable buddy who's always got your back no matter what. Its smooth power delivery and rock solid stability make it a favorite among adventure riders looking for a dependable partner on their journeys. Riding the KTM Adventure 890 is an adrenaline rush like no other. Its powerful engine and nimble handling give you a sense of control and confidence, allowing you to tackle any trail with ease. The radial rear tire provides exceptional grip, giving you the confidence to push the limits of what's possible. The Yamaha Tenere is a true off-road machine with a heart of a warrior. Its aggressive nature and go-anywhere attitude make it a favorite among riders who crave adventure. However, its agility can sometimes lead to overconfidence, especially when the going gets tough. Riders need to be mindful of this and ride within their limits. The Ducati Desert X is a beast in its own right with a soul of a champion. Its powerful engine and balanced chassis make it a force to be reckoned with, whether you're tearing up the dunes or carving through twisty trails. The combination of a bias ply front tire and a radial rear tire gives it a unique edge, offering stability and agility in equal measure. In conclusion, each of these adventure bikes offers a unique riding experience with its own strengths and considerations. Whether you're looking for reliability, agility, power, or a combination of all three, there's a bike out there that's perfect for you. Now, let's talk about the adventure bike market. In 2023, the demand for adventure bikes continued to grow, with more riders seeking the thrill of off-road adventures. According to industry reports, sales of adventure bikes saw a significant increase, with models like the Honda Africa Twin and KTM Adventure 890 leading the pack in terms of popularity. The Honda Africa Twin and KTM Adventure 890 were among the top-selling adventure bikes in 2023, thanks to their reputation for reliability and performance. These bikes appealed to a wide range of riders, from seasoned adventurers to those looking to dip their toes into off-road riding for the first time. As the adventure bike market continues to expand, tire companies are also ramping up their investment in this segment. Companies like Golden Tire are leading the charge, developing specialized tires that cater to the unique demands of adventure riding. These tires are designed to provide the perfect balance of on-road stability and off-road traction, giving riders the confidence to tackle any terrain. Golden Tire in particular has gained a reputation for producing high-quality tires that excel in both on-road and off-road conditions. Their innovative tire designs have been praised by riders around the world, with many citing improved handling and performance after switching to Golden Tire tires. As we look to the future, the adventure bike market shows no signs of slowing down. With advancements in technology and design, we can expect to see even more capable and versatile bikes hitting the market in the coming years. The adventure bike ADV market has seen remarkable growth in recent years, driven in part by a shift in the demographics of off-road riders. In the 90s, the average age of off-road riders was around 24 years old. However, today, the average age has risen to over 40. This shift signifies that many of the riders from the 90s are still active, but have now gained years of riding experience. These riders are seasoned veterans who have a deep love for off-road riding and have now turned their attention to ADV bikes. One of the reasons for this shift is the versatility that ADV bikes offer. Unlike traditional off-road bikes, ADV bikes are designed to handle a wide range of terrains, from rugged trails to long-distance touring. 
This versatility allows riders to plan epic adventures, whether it's a trip through the African savanna or an expedition into the deserts of the Middle East. The ability to tackle such diverse landscapes has made ADV bikes increasingly popular among experienced riders who crave new challenges and exploration. However, it's essential to acknowledge that the growing popularity of ADV bikes comes with its challenges, especially in regions like Europe, where off-road riding is increasingly restricted. Regulations and environmental concerns have led to limitations on off-road circulation in many areas, making it more challenging for riders to find suitable trails for their adventures. This shift in regulations has undoubtedly impacted the way riders approach off-road riding, pushing them towards ADV bikes that offer a balance between off-road capability and road legality. As a former rider, I've witnessed firsthand how the landscape of off-road riding has evolved over the years. In the 90th, it was relatively easy to take a bike for a ride in the mountains or explore remote trails. However, with the changing regulations and environmental concerns, these opportunities have become increasingly limited. This shift has undoubtedly influenced the choices of many riders, leading them to seek out ADV bikes that can offer a similar off-road experience while still complying with legal requirements. The growth of the ADV market is not just a result of changing preferences, but also a response to the evolving landscape of off-road riding. As the average age of off-road riders continues to rise, the demand for versatile and capable ADV bikes is likely to increase further. Despite the challenges posed by regulations, the allure of adventure and exploration remains strong, driving riders to seek out new ways to satisfy their off-road cravings. Whether you're a seasoned adventurer or a newcomer to off-road riding, there's never been a better time to explore the world of adventure bikes. As we have seen, all these bikes have opted for a singular tire option, with the common choice being the 90-90-21 front and 150-70 R18 rear setup. While the 1821 combination is typical for off-road use, the unique aspect lies in the use of a front diagonal or bliss tire and a rear radial tire. Initially, I was skeptical about this choice, but after spending countless hours riding these bikes, I've come to appreciate the wisdom behind it. The rear radial tire, though unconventional for off-road bikes, has proven highly effective. It provides strong support and confidence-inspiring grip especially on tarmac's long corners, offering stability crucial for challenging road conditions. Conversely, the front diagonal or bliss tire excels in off-road situations, offering excellent support when braking late on gravel downhills and instilling confidence when entering corners. So while the choice of a rear radial tire and front diagonal tire may seem unconventional at first glance, it has proven to be a winning combination this setup offers a blend of stability and agility that enhances the riding experience, whether on or off-road. The rear radial tires support and grip on tarmac, the front diagonal tires prowess in off-road situations, making for a well-rounded and versatile tire setup. My experience with adventure bikes in standard configuration, and then with the Golden Tire GT923KV for on-road use and GT823KH for the adventures in off-road, has been nothing short of exhilarating. These tires have truly transformed the way I ride, providing unmatched performance and reliability in a variety of conditions. Whether I'm tackling steep descents, navigating technical terrain, or powering through gravel roads, I know I can rely on Golden Tire to deliver the grip and stability. I need to conquer any adventure. Moving to Golden Tire is the first and suggested upgrade I can share with you because it's easy, basically not expensive, and you will improve immediately your joy of riding. A good option or investment is having two sets of wheels, one for your daily use and one for your off-road adventures, as we have seen having the right tire in a certain condition is something that can change the game. Write down in the comment your experiences, your choices, your roots, and together we can grow as a community and share our experiences 
that even our small could be extremely helpful for someone in the same condition. So let's do it and see you in the next video.